we've looked at total spending in the economy based on the income level, let's break aggregate expenditures down into its parts, C plus I plus G plus X minus IM. So let's start with consumption spending. Consumption spending is spending by households. So we're looking at the goods and services that households buy. The goods include durable goods, non-durable goods, and semi-durable goods. Looking at household spending, we can see that even if income is zero, households do some spending. So $5 in this example. Those are the basic necessities, food and shelter, things that we have to buy even if we had no income. As our income increases, consumption spending increases. So let's plot this information. So let's start here. We have national income on the horizontal. And now we have consumption on the vertical. So when national income is zero, consumption spending is five. So we would have a little tiny dot way down here at five. And as national income increases, consumption spending increases. So when national income is 100, consumption spending is 65. When national income is 200, consumption spending is 125. And we could pl keep plotting all those points. Ultimately, we have national income of 800 and consumption spending of 485. So we'll connect those dots there. And we want to find a consumption function that we can break into autonomous, the part that does not depend on income, and the portion that is induced. Well, the autonomous portion is the amount we would spend even if we had no income. So when income is zero, we can see that consumption spending is five. As income increases, consumption spending increases. The question is how much? So we need to find the slope. So slope is rise over run. So in this case, it's going to be the change in consumption divided by the change in income. Ultimately, we want to know how we get from this point here to that point there. So consumption goes from 5 to 485. So we want to see how much of a change that is. That's a change of 480. National income goes from 0 to 800. So 800 minus 0, and that is a change of 800. So 480 divided by 800 is 0.6. This slope has a name. It is called the marginal propensity to consume. So what this tells us is for every additional dollar of income, households will spend 60 cents of it. So our slope here is 0.6. This y is a placeholder, so we could figure out the amount of consumption spending at different levels of income. So, for example, we could say how much consumption spending is there at 200, and we would take 5 plus 0.6 times the 200. And we could figure out how much total consumption spending is. Five of it would be autonomous. The rest, the 0.6 times 200, is the induced portion, the consumption spending that depends on the fact that we have $200 of income.